What's up fam, it's your boy DKG72. I'm back to talk about some more art supplies. This is gonna be kind of an interesting episode or video, I guess, because I'm talking about something that's really, really simple, but really, really important. That's the pencil or the drawing utensils that you use to create your art. And we're actually going to talk about some of my preferred drawing utensils because uh, basically it kind of goes across a lot of different spectrums, if, you, if, if I might say. Let's start off with just some of the basics. All right, so you know what? I'm an old school, old head. <laughs> I just keep it funky sometimes, and it's just a basic number two pencil. Now this one happens to be a 2B pencil from um, uh, Dick Blick, or Blick, I'm sorry, Blick as you know now. Uh, but you can also just basically use a regular HB lead. Uh, the great thing about a regular, regular degular number two pencil is of course, you can get good line shading quality uh, that you couldn't get with a mechanical pencil or something like that. A uh, line variance, uh, just a good line altogether. And depending upon how hard or how soft the lead is, pause, depending on how hard or how soft the lead is, is then uh, obviously you can determine how dark or how light that your line can be but when it comes to just creating art nothing really beats uh just a regular pencil to be honest with you i mean you just can't go wrong Alright guys, if you know me, you know that what I love to use the most when I'm drawing is a nice mechanical pencil. And this is, of course, uh, the Graph Gear 500, which I have been talking about for like almost a year now because it did replace the pencil I've been using, the mechanical pencil I've been using forever as my favorite mechanical pencil. And basically, uh, just a good mechanical pencil. One of the great things about this is that you get a good sharp line, detailing, detailing, detailing. You can always get into those small details, just kind of really get lost in the weeds, cross hatching, all of it. I mean, now it normally just uses a regular HB lead, so you can't really vary up the leads or get a softer or a softer or harder lead. Pause once again. <laughs> but at the same time, it is great. And what I like using it for is for drawing comics and of course comic books because I can get that lead, that detail that I want. It's comfortable. These are perfect. I've been using a mechanical pencil to draw for the longest period of time uh what can i say i love them all right guys so while i like using a regular pencil or even a mechanical pencil what i also find myself using a lot to do a lot of artwork are either my blue pencil or my color race or my red pencil now these pencils particularly are interesting because of course they're of different colors and everything like that and they're a little bit harder to erase sometimes but what i find myself doing is doing now is that when i'm using them for particular works of art I find myself incorporating the different colors that they create, of course, into the art itself. So it becomes kind of its own little thing. At one point I was using them because again, the blue doesn't photograph that well. So you could kind of, you could draw something, ink over it, pencil over it, photocopy it. The blue wouldn't show up. The red on the other hand, <laughs> that does show up. So. Uh, but I know a lot of animators use the red pencil so what I find them I'm using them for now is more for creative artworks and like I said before I find myself incorporating the pencil color in this case the red or the blue into the artwork itself and it really creates kind of this really it just really creates something cool it's really really nice it's really just pops pencils are regular pencils so they're comfortable to use of course you're gonna have to make sure that you keep them sharp and I use a mechanical uh, I'm sorry an electric pencil sharpener for these very good to use very reliable they can go a long time these are one of two of I should say my favorite drawing utensils besides my regular pencils This next choice is going to cause some controversy because there are some people that may be a little more aligned to certain brands than others. I'm talking about people that use iPads. <laughs> so they're going to be a little mad that I didn't include uh, their particular digitizer pen, which is the Apple Pencil in this uh, video because, well, honestly, I don't have iPad. I don't use the Apple Pencil, but the one time I have tried it out, I will say 
it does feel the most like a regular pencil, even though it's a, a digital digitizer or whatever you want to call it. But the drawing utensil that I've been using when I'm drawing electronically or anything like that is just a good old Wacom pencil, pen, whatever you want to call it, a digitizer as it were as it were. Uh, this is the Wacom Bamboo and I use it all the time when I'm doing my artwork. Right now I just have a little tiny Wacom pad. Uh, hope to upgrade soon to another Wacom pad at, at some point, a nice little tablet. Just any Wacom pencil, I've, I've been using them for years and I just find them to really work for me. They really work, I'm really used to them. And that's one thing about it. It's hard to kind of switch over when you're very familiar sometimes with some of these devices and some of these tools because it's just, you're used to them and you know and you know what you're going to get and that's the thing with the Wacom pen I know what I'm going to get I know what it's going to bring to the table I know how to manipulate it to make it do what I need it to do and that's the thing that I need the most when I'm creating so when it comes to drawing digitally the Wacom pen is my favorite pen to use don't come for me uh, iPad users or Apple users or whatever I'm on the Windows system anyway so no nah. Right, guys and last but not least I'm going to talk about some of the pens that I use we're going to, not going to talk about them individually too much because you've seen them before of course one of my favorite brush pens is my Tombow Fudena Seke brush pen it's a little bit stiffer than the normal brush pen but it's very reliable and it's also very inexpensive so this is one that you can get in droves you can use you can just basically kill it and then go on to the next one but while you're using it it's going to provide you a great line it's going to it's going to really do all of that hard work that you really need to do the micron liner is of course one of my favorite liner pens um, again everybody in the industry uses them can't go wrong with it it's just the best uh, nice nib comfortable to use doesn't tire out on my hand and then last but not least my pentail brush pen has really I used to, I used to use them that I they fell out of favor with me for some reason and then recently I started back using them and I think it's because I was using them originally I wasn't using them the way they should have been used you have to be kind of delicate with these pens because they do just put the ink everywhere and the ink gets wet um but you get this super duper fine line you really get a lot from it as far as uh, that good beautiful crisp indian ink again if you practice with it we're talking about practice not a game not a game not a game we're talking about practice and you learn how to use it the right way this pen is a major go it's going to give you some of the best lines that you've ever seen in your artistic life to be honest with you all right guys so that's just a quick overview of some of the pen well not some of that's pretty much everything that i use to draw to create and i just wanted to let you guys know or see what i use so that you can kind of be informed and kind of make your choice accordingly now remember everything that i like you may not like and that's okay one of the things that i found is that I spend years and years and years and years figuring out what worked for me, what didn't work for me, and you have to do the same. This is just a quick overview of what I like, and I wanted to let you guys know so it actually gives you a jump off point so that you can be like, hey, I'm gonna try these, and then you can be like, either they're good or Dave sucks, he's dumb, I'm out. Let me try something else, which is cool. Hopefully you guys do try these pins out. Uh, they'll be linked below, of course. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think of them. All right, guys, so if you like this video, please hit me with the big thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Now, everybody, please share this all over the internet. And of course, hit the bell icon that lets you know when I post up a new video so we can beat the YouTube algorithm. If you want to get in touch with me, you can always reach me at DKD72 at Twitter and Instagram. You can also follow me on my Facebook fan page or on TikTok, David Gordon72, not or and and on TikTok. And of course, if you guys want to support the channel, uh, the Patreon is listed below. Dave, DKG72 makes comics. All right, it's your boy DKG72, and I'm out. Peace. What's up, fam? It's your boy DKG. How do I always mess that up? Let's try it again.